Hello my lovelies and welcome back to Art of La Carte and I am working on the next round of 100 character draw challenge and this is a challenge where I draw three different characters and at the end you guys get to vote which character you like the most. So in the description box of this video will be a link to a straw poll poll where you can cast your votes. Um, as a side note, the hardest thing for me to do in these designs is come up with names. So thank you to everyone who gave suggestions in the last character draw video uh, for names. I went ahead and picked three of those out. If you have any suggestions for names, you can leave those in the comments as well. Today, instead of talking about how I create each piece, I'm going to actually answer some questions that you guys have. I thought it would be fun to do a little Q&A. So uh, let's just jump into some of the first questions. Elena asks, how long have I been drawing? I have always loved creating art. So I would say when I was two or three and could pick up a pencil or a crayon, I was always coloring or, you know, scratching something on paper. <laughs> and then it was in my 30s that I decided that I wanted art to be kind of my profession and really started focusing and honing in um, exactly what I wanted my art to look like. Do I have any pets? And yes, I do. In fact, my previous video that I just posted a couple of days ago, I introduced you to my brand new two kittens that I adopted and I love them so much, Willow and Yeti. So if you want to know the story of how I adopted them, um, I'll leave that as a link at the end of this video so you can check it out. Have I ever been afraid to pursue an art career or did I struggle with others not believing it was a valuable career choice? There has been a good portion of my life where art has been my hobby. I have done other jobs to pay the bills. I, I have been a professional pizza maker, worked in retail, housekeeping. I was even in a photography business for a very short time. And art was just something I did that made me happy. And then about 10 years ago is when I decided to give art a chance to be a job. And I have never regretted it. Oh, I love being an artist. But I will say, don't get into the art profession with the goals of being rich and famous. Get into being an artist because it makes you happy. And if it has to be that you're an artist slash whatever to pay the bills, that's okay too. My biggest advice is to pursue art as much as you can and just enjoy the journey. How did I learn to watercolor so well? Oh, thank you. Well, with anything, um, it's just practice. You learn it by doing it. So <laughs> with watercolor, I actually probably learned more about watercoloring by making mistakes and messing up than I ever did by doing things right. So your failures and oopses <laughs> can teach you so much more than your, oh, this is how you do it right. I've, for the most part, have been self-taught in my art journey. I've had a few art teachers and taken a few classes here and there, but it wasn't actually until this year that I have, that I was able to take a professional watercolor class. And I tell you, even after doing watercolor for over a decade, I learned so much that I never knew, I never knew about watercolor. So if there is an opportunity to take a class in an art field that you are looking to learn more about, highly recommend that. Do you think that having Copics really helped your drawings to get better? Having art supplies that you're excited about or passionate about um, can then in turn make you create more art, which then in turn helps you to get better. So in that aspect, yes, I think my investing in Copics helped me. But before I jumped in, because Copics are expensive, uh, before I jumped into that, I really did my research and found out what made Copics different than other markers, what made them better than my, you know, Crayola markers. If you buy Copic markers to use them like you would a Crayola marker, I mean, they can do that, but that's not why they're $8 a marker. <laughs> they're $8 a marker because they can do so much more. What is your preferred background while doing art? Music, podcasts, movies, YouTube videos, or silence? I will say, 95% of the time, it's music. Love to listen to music while I'm creating art. And the music is based on the emotion I want for the piece. So if I have a sad piece, I listen to sad music. If I have like a really intense piece, I have intense music. If it's a fun like fairy tale picture, then I'm listening to happy music. You know, the music matches the piece. Have I ever felt like quitting art due to not having the right supplies? And hmm, 
I don't know if I ever felt like quitting art completely, but yeah, quitting maybe that art medium because I didn't have the right supplies. Um, case in point, watercolor. When I was younger, I got like the typical school pack of watercolor with a little plastic paintbrush and hated it. Hey, oh, couldn't stand anything. So I kind of off the side. Uh, and then I can't even remember if I someone let me use their watercolor set or how I got a nice set. Okay, that memory has eluded my brain. When I finally experienced a nice quality watercolor set, that changed everything for me. So having a nice quality art supply can really help. What is the most difficult piece I've ever had to make? My Dark Mermaid piece. How long have I been in YouTube? And what is my favorite piece I've ever done? Uh, Bunny asks, what is the best thing to practice drawing? The simple answer is whatever gets you drawing is the best thing to practice because the more you do, the better you get. Uh, but if you're really wanting to push your art to the next level, my suggestion is to not stick with what you're comfortable with. For the longest time, it was horses and girls. That's all I drew, horses and girls. And so things like architecture and still life and the boys. <sighs> was not good at drawing them and I didn't like drawing them. Um, so I began to push myself to, to draw those things a little bit more. But there is a balance. You want to practice what you enjoy drawing. If you are putting a lot of time and effort practicing something that you don't enjoy, you're just going to get better at doing something that you don't enjoy. So like oil paints or pastels or charcoals are some art mediums that I don't enjoy doing. So I don't put a lot of effort into getting learning to get better because I realize I don't have to be fluent in every art form out there. But I want to get better at drawing male characters, so I put a lot of effort into pushing myself in that direction. Architecture is not something that makes me really super excited to draw, but it's important in storytelling and working on comics that I can, you know, draw an okay building. So I'll do studies on those things. So. Find what you're wanting to, to learn and push yourself to draw things like that. Happy Sunflower asks, what is the, my favorite thing to draw at the moment? Doing my character designs has, is still my top favorite thing to do. I love designing characters. Yay! What is uh, my favorite color pencil that I recommend for drawing? So I personally use Prismacolors. I know a lot of people like um, Faber-Castells and other brands. I stick with Prisma colors just because I've already invested in them and I have a full sets and backup sets and so I don't do a lot of color pencil work as, I, as much as I used to um, so I don't go through them as quickly and since I have the set that's what I have but uh, I do enjoy I do have a small set of Faber-Castell and I enjoy those as well so those are the ones that I recommend. What was the first drawing I ever did? Um, my mom says that the first drawing she could tell what would, what it was was when I drew an elephant because I drew its little feet with its little toenails on its feet. Um, the first drawing that I ever did that I was super excited about was I was in high school and I went out to the parks and was drawing one of the buildings out there and someone came and said, do you sell your work? And I sold it to them for $2. I was so excited because I was officially a professional artist selling my, my art for $2. <laughs> Hootie says, what is the best thing to draw in a small notebook? Oh, I love having little tiny sketchbook notebooks and really anything. But I think drawing something that, uh, brings people into a world in a small notebook so it's not like you're opening it up and you're like oh there's a heart and oh there's a flower and oh there's you know a gumball or an apple or something but you open it up and like it's like this world. I think those are so fun. Are you ever going to finish the, ch the new choose your own adventure stories? I love those. <laughs> Oops! Uh, I want to say yes but I also don't want to lie. So for all of you who have watched the first couple videos on the new Choose Your Own Adventure series from last year? The year before? I, it's been a while. It's been a while. I want to say, yes, I'm going to finish it. But I also don't want to lie to you and get your hopes up. Um, it's a good story. It, it's not going to leave my brain. I had to make a decision that I only had so many hours in a day. I had to prioritize some art things and 
uh, the comic that I'm working on that my patrons are faithfully waiting for is kind of taking top priority. If I'm going to work, if I'm going to be able to have time to work on a story, I have to finish the comic first. And I'm so sorry because I hate it when people start stories and then they don't finish them. And oh goodness, I should just finish it. I should just do tell you the, the finished, I should just finish the story and just so you guys can have an ending. Okay, so if by the end of this year, I have not produced a video ending the Choose Your Own Adventure story. I want you guys just to comment back to this video or anywhere. Just send me messages and bug me and say, finish the story. And I will just do it in one shot video and I will finish it out. But give me till uh, t December of this year to hopefully get the comic done and, and then I can hopefully work on that. So deal, deal, okay. What's your favorite character from either of the hundred character drawing challenges I've done so far? So this is actually season two. I have a, a completed hundred character draw challenge. Um, and then this one. And I think my favorite one is still Rose. There are some that I really like in this one and um, Oren might be my new favorite. What keeps you motivated to make art on bad days when things don't work out? Good question. Um, probably that I just love doing art. It's my favorite thing to do. Um, when people ask me, what do you want to do this weekend? It's like art. I want to do art. If people say, where do you want to go on vacation? I'm like, my studio. I just want to go do art. That being said, I have a box. A box I call my art graveyard. And it's filled with pieces that had great potential. And then something happened. Either I lost inspiration or I messed up on it or whatever and they're dead pieces. They're dead to me and they go in the art graveyard and every once in a while I'll pull it out, go over my art graveyard, reminisce and sometimes, sometimes they get resurrected or at least the idea. But how is your comic going? <laughs> um, I probably should just do an update video on that one. It's going. It's always moving forward slowly but moving forward. I have restarted it like so many times and my patrons are not going to want to hear this but I really want to restart it again. <laughs> oh I am so bad at committing to a style and committing to a plot line and then I'll get halfway through the plot line and go this is not it's not working. Can I make a video about my cats because they're adorable. Thank you. Well, I just posted a video about my cats, but I'm sure there will be other videos and updates. But if you want to see all the cat cuteness, you can follow me on Instagram because I'm always posting pictures of how cute they are. Okay, so that's all the time I have for questions for this video. Now it's time for you guys to vote for your favorite character in the description box below. I'll have a link to straw poll where you guys can go and cast your votes. That will be the official poll. Thank you guys for hanging out with me and asking some great questions. If there are questions that you would like to know the answer to and I didn't get to answer in this video, leave it in the comment section below. Who knows, maybe I'll do another one of these later on. If you're brand new to my channel, you can hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any future videos. And as always, God bless you guys. Thanks for hanging out with me and we'll see you in the next art video. Bye-bye.